Hi, ladies and gentlemen. When you're playing Wonderlands, have you ever felt like you are disarmed, even though you just you you've been killing enemies for 20 minutes, 20 minutes quest after quest, not a single item fits your build, not a spell, not a gun, not a nata. <laughs> well, in previous games we've had an answer, which was kill bosses. But you might be saying, well, that's the fucking problem. <laughs> I can't deal damage anyway to kill the bosses. It's a pain. I keep picking up greens and blues, and nothing really works. I feel like my build's a little shitty. And I'm like, hey fam, I feel you. I get you. It's okay. Um, okay, so to answer this question of how the hell do you get a notch of power in the direction that you most desire, aka if you're playing guns, get a gun that's really good, get a weapon that's really good, or for me, it was get a spell that is hopefully good. Because even though I was playing the Graveborn and then later multi-classing with the spell shot, I still, for a long time coming, didn't feel like magic was there. I kind of just felt like a grenade. Like, okay, well, I can use this when I can use it, but I still got to mainly depend on my weapon, and yeah, it's just kind of a nice fluff or additive thing, right? But, ladies and gentlemen, it does not have to be that way at all. The magic in this game is absolutely ludicrous, fun, crazy, cracked, broken, not broken, not OP, perfect, don't don't touch it, it's great. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today I'm going to be answering that question for you guys, hopefully, or this was my answer, hopefully it's sufficient, but... Ladies and gentlemen, uh, unlike in previous Borderlands games, one of the main things that we now have in Wonderlands is an economy that actually makes somewhat sense. <laughs> Meaning, vending machines are now pretty damn good. And I'm maybe not just vending machines, because I don't know how it works for melee weapons or guns, but oh my god, spells. Spells have such utility and massive power attached to their weirdness. To give you an example, you could have a purple tier spell uh, that, that ha looks really good, has high base damage, but if you don't get the right prefixes, it's absolute trash. Um, you could have a blue um, weapon that's like three levels old, and it would still outperform that one by a whole lot. Let me explain. Well, actually, before I explain, let me just tell you the thing that I'm going to get you to do. Go find a vending machine that is magic that's going to sell you spells. Only spells. Okay? Perfect. It doesn't have to be only spells, it just makes the process a little bit faster. Okay. Second thing is you are going to save, quit, save, quit, save, quit, whenever, and, and basically keep checking the vendor. So that's the premise. So, so you're going to go save, quit. If you, if, if you there's no good spells in the vendor, then save, quit. That will reinstance them and etc. Now, you are spending your money uh, to buy one of these spells, but you only need to buy like one really good spell and you'll be good. This hasn't taken me any more than a couple tries to redetonate the instance, okay? I'm going to tell you what to look for. So the thing that you are going to be looking for in terms of spell power is rapid casting okay what this does it allows you to hold down your spell and cast it like five times now the crazy thing with this is you can also get a spell that has like three charges so three charges times five <laughs> so yeah a lot a lot of damage and 90 percent of the time it takes a good bit to cast so you're you're basically that's spread out through throughout a longer duration and yeah, you're mainly going to be casting for 90% of the gunfight, especially if you put some skill points in the right things within your class. But that's not where the craziness stops. Um, what rapid casting allows you to cast multiple times with one charge. I found a tremendous success with this specific vendor, or manufacturer, sorry. Um, the reason why is because it seems like it has instanced damage or massively AoE applying damage. Um, and uh, I found that they have a lot of uh, hand magic, like uh, snaps and, and, and clacks and stuff like that. <laughs> so the two things that are relevant uh, to you um, is, is, of course, rapid casting being one of the most things. Look at the top, see what you're rapidly casting. Is it ice? Uh, is it missile barrage or whatever? Who knows? Uh, and then the other thing that's really relevant is the thing right below rapid casting. This is the unique effect tied to certain spells. So one of those unique effects that I first got was pretty good. Basically, whenever you detonate a spell, not a charge, that's five detonations within one charge cast, which you guys are seeing right now of me snapping constantly, all five of the hits from one charge will detonate an additional time, uh, causing like a, a kind of an echo effect of boom, boom 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 every single time I hit which melts things <laughs> melts things really good also does massive AoE good for bosses because most bosses don't just run around all the time um, and yeah but that one on to be honest is actually on the lower end on the higher end every single time you cast and you detonate a spell there's a hydra that appears in them or on the, where the spell detonates so you're you're shooting for one charge which you can at the most I've seen is three three charges uh, with one of those charge being 
five detonations of the spell and then leaving behind five hydras <laughs> is, is where shit gets just insane and awesome. Uh, so that's the craziness of magic. Now, with that being said, though, for your first playthrough before you start pumping up the level and the OP levels, all that kind of stuff, I think you'll just be good with rapid casting and multiple charges. So that's the thing that you're going to look out. You're going to save quit, uh, load into the vendor. Hopefully, you have enough money to buy a purple. So try to sell your gear and, and all that kind of stuff because, again, it's not working. It'll, yeah, you'll find this. All Honestly, this one rapid casting ability will take you so, so far. <laughs> okay, you'll be okay. You just got this. So, so save quit load into the vendor, look for rapid casting, and um, ideally uh, multiple charges. So have at least two to three charges on the spell. That way you can dip into the fact, dip into the craziness of having multiple charges and then hitting multiple times with each one of those charges, <laughs> okay? And then if you want some sugar on top, you can get the bottom one popping off and being really good. Now, th now the thing is, I will tell you guys ahead of time, it does seem like I'm worried that it may be locked by level. So if you keep resetting and and you keep not seeing um you know a thing that's that's useful, then then it might be locked by level. But I don't think it is. Um, I I think I think if it is, it's you can burn through the story and get to like level 20 really really quick. Um, but I would heavily advise if you guys are having any like if you're th if the game is not fun get rapid casting because it makes the game so so fun because you're sitting there snapping and clacking and bang everything's just dropping um, also spells are like some spells are really good for killing bosses like they do great single target damage or massively row of damage based on you hitting them multiple times uh, which is fantastic and uh, and yeah ladies and gentlemen uh, the game became like it was already awesome and enjoyable but then when I got rapid casting and some good versions of rapid casting it just became like I was living my ideal wizard life <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I was living my best life up here, throwing around magic, and hopefully I've been showing you guys that in the background. But that's the route I would show you guys. I would say the same thing could be for weapons, like guns and melee weapons, but I will say it seems like guns and melee weapons still have that the limitation whereas it seems like spells don't have spells can spawn in with like a shit ton of modifiers, um, which is the square box above where it says rapid casting. And it also can spawn with rapid casting and then something below it, which is another kind of spell in itself. Um, and you can have like various different types so it could be like Hydra it could be earthquake it could be all of these things and it's about finding the right words and conjunction uh, that make things insane rapid casting to me is definitely one of the pieces of the algorithm some people say that uh, channel casting is really good it might be good for endgame but channel casting just feels horrible to sit there and hold a wand out for 20 minutes uh, I'd rather just hold it down and just see a bunch of explosions happening could be just preference though but that'd be my advice that I'd give y'all in the past games I never used the vendors for anything but just selling my gear and then like for and like using S it for SDUs uh, which you only really need to do that do that up to a certain point because you just have so much especially if you're playing a graveborn you're gonna spend most of your time casting spells especially if you have rapid casting free of charge no ammunition required no SDUs or expenditure in that way just maybe some uh, buying some good spells themselves and farming out uh, in a vendor the vendor that I've personally I'm not sure if you want to go crazy with me but the vendor that I've had the most luck with with rapid casting is actually in the, the Jack and the Beanstalk level so after you're done doing Tori's weirdness with the boat uh, you'll basically meet a bean do the little beans quest line he'll take you to a jack and the beanstalk exclusive area which otherwise you'd miss um, and for whatever reason there's like a certain thing in the castle that has like it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like a place that I always go to to do this to get a really good spell uh, and I've always gotten them there and, and, and I only ever started getting the the like hand magic slash rapid multiple hitting spells when I got to the beanstalk level um, but then I started seeing them kind of out and about everywhere. So I think it's after that point, maybe. But ladies and gentlemen, that's my, my advice to you. Hopefully it helps for my fellow wizards and brothers and sisters, <laughs> warlocks and witches out there. <laughs> uh, take care of yourself. Uh, yes, and get yourself, get yourself some rapid casting because, dude, let me know what also your best spell is. The Hydra spells seem OP as hell and awesome. No, not OP, not OP. Just really, really good. And rapid casting seems like it's just your gateway to fun. Even if you're shooting one spell, you're shooting it five times, it still feels better than just shooting it once and then being done <laughs> for such a long time, you know? But ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you for your time. We are going to be covering Wonderlands an absolutely crazy amount here because I am just super enjoying the game and I cannot wait to push myself and get to endgame. Uh, and hopefully I can see some of you there because it's crossplay. We can play together. Also, uh, tune in to some of the streams because <laughs> we're going to be streaming a lot of this game with there being so many uh, like things to farm and reasons to farm them. Uh, 
uh, yes, that'll be a fun community thing to do. <laughs> so hopefully you'll do that with me. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye, my friends.